Hi everyone, and I've received a few questions from people to, uh, in relation to the, the workshop that we're running uh, coming up this weekend. So I thought, well, look, what better way than to put a quick Q and A video together, um, answering some of these questions in case other people also have uh, similar questions in mind. So the first one has to do with, so this is a workshop on adult attachment. But are we learning about specific attachment styles? And the answer is yes, you absolutely are. Um, attachment styles forms a core component of the workshop, understanding what they are, but also how they function in relationships. But importantly, what most people are not aware of is that you can assess adult attachment styles very quickly through some very reliable and long-standing self-report measures, questionnaires that you can administer to individuals or to couples. We're going to be covering that off, not just what these measures are, but I'm going to train you in a specific measure that you literally can take from the workshop and give to a, a client of yours or a couple, and you would be able to score and have a fair idea of where their attachment style is now, and also you can repeatedly assess them over the course of therapy uh, so you can see if you get any shifts, and we're going to talk quite a bit about that in the workshop. The other thing has to do with strategies of working with particular um, couples and particular individuals with different attachment styles. So that's a question that I get asked, you know, are there particular ways that you work with people differently as a function of their attachment style? And the answer is yes. And we cover that also in the workshop. We have a, the last section is devoted to therapeutic strategies and how you tailor them given your existing therapeutic practice and the therapies that you use in ways that kind of meet the person's attachment needs um, and also tries to move them on from their attachment insecurities depending on whether they're high on attachment anxiety or high on attachment avoidance and we're going to talk about that uh, we're also going to talk about some new innovative novel things that people are doing uh, that are trying to move or help augment, um, shift people's um, attachment style, so to speak. And, and we usually have quite a discussion about um, how much attachment styles can change, if at all. That's a red hot uh, running debate in the literature currently. The last thing has to do with, well, what are we going to do in terms of practice, practical application of the, of the sorts of things that we're learning. And my teaching and learning approach um, that I've had for a very long time is very much one that's kind of problem-based learning, inquiry-based learning, where you need to be exposed to particular cases. We've got some simple cases that we give people that you kind of workshop in groups, that you work through to kind of identify um, people's attachment styles and how it's influencing the relationship functioning that, that you get a brief on and you, you read about. But also we've got some videos to show you of um, the way that things play out in couples and we're going to be talking about that as well uh, so you can see it live on the ground what it what it looks like in terms of the way that these attachment dynamics do play out uh, and the other thing that we do is we then get you to think about specific clients that you have and give you some time to kind of workshop through the things that you're learning live in the training and applying it to your own cases and then we can have a debrief we can have a discussion with some of you about the kinds of things you're thinking about in terms of your clients and maybe some, some follow-up questions that you may have as you start to think in terms of attachment terms. So those are just some of the key things that we're covering in the workshop. As we've said, it is jam-packed and uh, we cover a lot of ground, but there's a lot of interactivity. So we cover off on how to assess and how to score attachment styles. We cover off on case conceptualization and we expose you to some cases written form as well as watching them. We cover off on strategies of what you can do with some of your clients once you've identified their kind of attachment styles and some of the issues that they are facing. And uh, we get you then to think of specifically about some of your own clients. So there's a lot that we tend to cover off in this workshop. So I look forward to seeing you in a few days time and should be fun. See you then.